Renee, it's Renee with Cantricides with Renee B. I believe this is day 34. I should have just checked it because I was online, but did I look? No. So it might be 35. It might be day 35. I should really get that straight. But math is hard. Numbers are hard for me. So uh, anyway, we're going to do a core workout today. All right, so we're just getting warmed up here with um, high stepping, getting our heart rates up a little bit and warming up our muscles. But we're going to be on the floor for core. And that means sit-ups and such. So, you know the drill. Yeah, you do. So, uh, this is a brand new year, 2017. Good morning to you, 2017. Um, that means we have, if you count today, we have 14 more days for our challenge to be done. Uh, January 15th, I will be celebrating um, not only my husband's birthday, um, but it will be one year of the day of my double mastectomy and reconstruction surgery. And the surgery is when all the cancer was taken out of me. Um, well, some of the cancer was taken out the week before, but the remainder of it in the breast was removed. So we consider that day. That was when I was put into remission. Did chemo to help lower my recurrence because I have a high recurrence. Um, with all the genetic issues that I have. So um, anyway, January 15th, that's what our challenge goal is. And then we'll have a new challenge and we'll have a new challenge and a new challenge, right? We'll go on season four, season five, season six, because we're stronger and we're going to stay stronger and we're going to stay motivated and we're going to stay healthier to keep the cancer from attacking us, both physically and mentally, right? And exercise and nutrition are all part of that. So getting it all, you know, Worked out. Okay, so that's it. We got our crunches going here. So let's do this on the floor. I did start my day off with sun salutations um, a couple of years ago. I want to say like three years ago. Um, I went to my friend's yoga studio, or where she practiced at, and we did 101 sun salutations to bring in the new year. So today I did some, but I only did 35, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. 35 is a good number. All right, so um, crunches, you guys know the drill, right? Your hands are here or here, okay? Chin off of your chest and you're breathing, core tucked in, okay? If you're behind your head, you're not pulling on your neck, elbows stay out to the side. going. Just don't forget to breathe. Let's do five more. Six, or ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to do some oblique. Okay, so we're going to do feet up and lift your neck and head and shoulders off of the floor and you're going to touch your feet with your opposite. So your opposite foot, opposite. So right hand, left foot. Okay, you guys have done this before. So again, keeping that chin off of your chest, abs tucked in and you're breathing. Okay, and we come up.
more. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, reach, 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 2, and 1. Whew. Okay, now we're going to do a really good exercise that I really hate doing. And uh, I hate it because I have a hard time keeping good form. And it's just rough on your body um, as far as doing that for me. Some people do it really, really well. So they're called bicycles. And we're going to lay, we're going to tuck up, okay, holding our shoulders up above, okay? And then our legs are going to go out like a bicycle. And, uh, you know, ideally, if you're strong enough, you can touch elbow to your elbow um, while you're doing that because it will work your obliques. Um, I'm lucky if I can just keep my head and neck up while my legs are going, okay? Now, to make it easier, my legs are going to be up higher. If you want to make it more challenging, you can have them closer to the ground, okay? And that'll work that lower part of that ab, too. It's a really good ab workout. Really good for the whole entire upper and lower part of your abdomen. I struggle. So, I'm going to have my legs up higher, okay? So, head and neck up, okay? And we're going to switch, switch, switch. Got a little bit of a twist going on. Ideally, you want to be able to come all the way up like such. That's not going to happen to me. Keep breathing. All right, break time for me. Goes to 15. Try to get 15 more, we'll see. You guys are probably stronger on this than I am. Some of you are anyway. But the point is, what do you know? <laughs> so we'll try again here in a minute. And my twist is so slight, you really, if you can, push yourself harder for that twist or lower your legs even lower towards the ground. Really get that stuff working. All right, let's try for 15 more. Whew, am I ready? Up. Oh my gosh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Oh, goodness. At least you guys know I'm real. <laughs> you know I'm real. I'm not like those crazy people out there that make it look so easy. Because it's not. Some people, it comes easy to. Some people, they eat, leave, and live, exercise, and bend this in muscles. And we can all be that way, but I have a problem with being obsessed with it. All about balance. I balance it out by exercising and then eating cookies. So, okay, all right. Let's work those obliques a little more. We did this one the other day. We're going to do it again today. Elbow knee. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm already five, four, three, two, one. All right, we'll do some lower part of our abs. So I want you to lean back on your elbows. We're going to lower and lift those legs, okay? Um, close as you can to the floor without your back arching up funny. Abs tucked in, breathing, and keeping that chin up still, okay? So, 
Ready? Here we go. Lower as low as you can. Five more right here, ready? Five. Whew. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew. Okay. A little bit of a Russian twist here. And then I think we're gonna call it a day. I can't tell if it's eleven or not, but anyway. Russian twist, so. Heels toed up, leaning back a little bit, okay? And then you're trying to touch your elbows to the ground. And come up. Your breath, and we'll try again for some more. Okay, and then we'll be done. We'll stretch it out and call it good. All right, stand back and twist. more four three two and one <sighs> lean back tuck those knees in oh gosh it feels good breathe right here stretch out those obliques out there love how he keeps me company makes me think of my friend Paula <sighs> and switch the other way and toe opposite way. Okay, that's great. And Happy New Year to you. Um, that was our abs. You guys can do them twice around if you want or more or whatever you want to do. Um, you know, push yourself harder and stronger because this is the year we're going to get stronger together as a team, okay? Um, so you guys know the drill. You're talking to your doctor, making sure it's okay to work out and exercise, okay, and what your limitations are. You're listening to your body. Your body will let you know what your limitations are, but it will also let you know your strengths and that you can do more. I always suggest, you know, if you're doing 20, do 22 the next time, okay? Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Lots of water, 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 just plain water. Filtered water is what I drink here, but, um, you know, water is so good for you and uh so good for your body so good for your mind and most importantly and this will never change this will always be my motto you are stronger thanks for joining me happy new year day 34 35 um i don't know i'll look it up before i post this online uh i love you guys i will see you tomorrow we only have 14 more days in our challenge bye